The periodic table is a way to organize the elements in a table based on their physical and chemical similarities. The Chemix School periodic table has color-coded push buttons. This gives an extra dimension of information, the colors represents important physical differences between the elements such as reactivity, electrical conductivity, and more. We group the elements the following way. Alkali metals Alkaline earth metals Lanthanides Actinides Transition metals Post-transition metals Metalloids Other non-metals Halogens Noble gases The elements can also be divided into blocks each representing a particular valence electron configuration. As an example, the elements having their last valence electron present in the s orbital are called the s block elements. s block elements d block elements p block elements f block elements To get extended information about each element, we have to open the properties window by clicking for example the hydrogen button. In the properties window we can view all information of each element simultaneously activated by a push button for each element. By pressing the history radio button we get information about he circumstances and background of the discovery, common compounds, allotropes, use, and more. The stable isotopes radio button gives us information about mass numbers, abundance, atomic mass, spin, resonance frequency, relative receptivity, magnetic moment, quadrupole moment, magnetogyric ratio. If we click on the unstable isotopes radio button, we will get information about radioactive decay, decay products, and related information such as isotopes and their mass numbers, or nucleon numbers, atomic mass, half-life, decay modes, decay energy, particle energy. Particle intensities, spin, magnetic moment. By clicking the decay radio button, we can observe the decay pathway of the unstable isotopes. The susceptibility push button gives us information about in what degree an element will become magnetized in an applied magnetic field. By pressing the periodic table graphics button we can visualize trends in a graphic manner. Here we see the relationship between atomic number and density. It is also possible to investigate group trends. In this case electronegativity. The purpose of the radio buttons in the upper part of Chemix School periodic table is to quantitatively have the ability to compare a specific properties. By pressing 1 the periodic table 22 radio buttons, we get an overall information for a specific property precant in the text field above each element button. It is possible to scroll the text by using the mouse. Thank you for watching this Chemex School tutorial.